What's going on everyone? It's Matthew with Matthew Specialized Detailing. Thanks for watching. Today's video, we're going to be performing a maintenance wash on my wife's daily driver, our CRV, and um, completely assassinated with salt. It's really bad out. And before we start the video, I just want to show you what we're dealing with outside because it's been crazy. Non-stop snow here in the Midwest. Arctic blast has taken a hold of the country. And um, let's have a look outside. Look at this. My snowman will be sticking around until April. And look at those drifts on my deck. Pretty intense, but winter is in full grasp and I'm sure you got a salty car near you and I'm gonna show you how I perform a maintenance wash without using a garden hose and with using as little water as possible. So if you got a heated garage and you got salty vehicles, maybe this is the video for you. So let's get after it. just getting ready to start our wash step and I just wanted to take you around the vehicle so you can get one last look here before we get started and vehicles dirty salty mostly salt and now they're putting that brime down on the road and that brime is really sticky it's nasty stuff and as it builds up it just starts to get a little worse so you can kind of see you can certainly see down on the wheels I'm gonna get to those last and the wheel wells are really dirty starting to build up and the roof is dirty it's, it's you know the higher up on the vehicle you go the less dirt there is definitely still needs some love it's been like this for close to two weeks was the last time it was washed and the vehicle is ceramic coated so it should you know come off a little easier now that I got the the temp warmed up here in the garage but it uh, definitely is annoying me that it is this salty and I've let it get this far. And you can see my floor, you know, I got the spacing here between the floor and I don't mind if a little bit of water gets in there, but I don't want the garden hose in here and having this thing flooded with water. So part of the reason I, I do it this way is to really reduces all the water that I would normally use using a garden hose so let's get after it the two main units that I'm going to be using to complete this task today is just a generic pump sprayer and my IK pump sprayer the hand pump sprayer I already have both of these filled with warm water and I'm going to introduce boiling water to both of these I don't want to use boiling water for you know both of them all the way filled so the reason I put hot water is to actually dumb down the boiling water so it's, it's just the right temperature Again, you could use this with just hot tap water. It would also work just fine. But I find that the dirtier the vehicle and the warmer the water, the cleaner and more efficient uh, the job and, and the process goes. So basically just going to take my boiling water now and top this off. Again, this, this sprayer here is going to be used to rinse the vehicle before I get my soap on. And it's also going to be used after I apply the drying agent to kind of introduce some fresh rinsing water to the drying agent. So once I get both of these things set up, we'll almost be ready to go and get this thing underway. Now I'm gonna be using CarPro's Reset. And you know, if you're making bucket soap with this, I think you, you only go maybe like one ounce per five gallons, but because the, the salt starts to eat up the, the foam, I kinda of want a fat foam, so I'm gonna I'm going to use a little bit more soap than I normally would. I got my little two ounce mixer here. So I'm going to fill this up about halfway. And it is okay to eyeball this stuff. You know, if you use a little bit more, if you use a little bit less, it's not going to ruin the process. But just generally, I got about an ounce of soap that's going into the IK foamer. I'm going to stick this thing down in there, rinse it out really nice, and uh, get ready to start getting this done. This is the fav my favorite part. All the prep work has been done, and I'm going to take you guys over here and show you the buckets I got set up. Okay, we're just about ready to start this whole service, and I figured I'd just show you I have all my tools laid out, getting ready to start this thing. So over here, I have my wash mitt, warm water, with my IK foamer, all pumped up, all ready to go. This is my rinsing bucket, and this is my rinsing water. This is all filled up, ready to go, 48 ounces. And I also have here my bucket with the chamois. 
been soaking, ready to go. This is my wheel bucket, which I'll use at the end. And as I'm kind of wringing out my wash mitt and my chamois into that, which that'll ultimately make my soapy water that I'll use to clean the rims and tires at the end. I have my pump sprayer, my generic pump sprayer, filled with a gallon of water, two ounces of drying agent. You can see it's kind of slightly tinted brown. That's what I'm gonna use before the final rinse and to kind of chew up the soap like I was talking about. But I think we're just about ready to get going and uh, finally get, get her cleaned up. She's a little dirty. By kind of just doing this pre-soap, you guys can kind of see what happens here with the salt. That warm water is already breaking it apart. And so starting down low just to get that stuff to run. And I like this misting spray. It does a really good job just uh, kind of breaking everything loose. But more importantly, it, it uses a lot less water. Probably the most challenging thing about all of this is when you start doing this, I think the worst part is just having to kind of keep the pumper going. But I'm just going to go around the whole vehicle just like this and just keep rinsing. Got the drying agent all ready to go. And you can see what happens the second it hits it. It's almost like a rinse. So it kind of just falls apart. Now that I got the drying agent all done, you can kind of see it almost looks like it's ready to be dry, but I still got a little bit of that residue from the drying agent on there. So just like we started the wash, we're gonna finish it. Just gonna put some freshly rinse water on here.
This is it. Final step. And then I'm done. Alright everyone, if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. But we're pretty close to being done. We have uh, rinsed the vehicle, washed the vehicle, used the drying agent, rinsed again, blow drying the vehicle, chamois dry the vehicle. And the last thing I'm going to be doing before uh, I sign off is really just uh, take a microfiber towel, wring it out with some water so I can kind of clean. Just the door jams lightly. There's some salt on the lower sills. I'll wipe the wheel wells and the tires with that, and then I'll discard this towel. But, you know, it is the dead of winter. Definitely not the most efficient way to wash a vehicle, but if you're trying to uh, take a, a gentle approach to removing the salt, this is a great way to do it. I really think the, the piece about it that I value the most is how little bit of water that I've used. I only filled that, um, that pressure sprayer up twice and uh, it's a 48 ounce sprayer so uh, less than 100 ounces of water and I think it's pretty cool to be able to wash a vehicle when it's cold outside like that using um, you know using less than a gallon of water so thanks again if you got any questions leave them in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe and we'll certainly see you on the next video take care